Hi, my name is Richard Curtis. I'm a solutions consultant here at Adobe. And my focus is digital imaging. Today, I'd like to show you the new focus area in Photoshop CC. Selecting parts of an image can be tricky. We already have the magic wand and the selection brush and the quick mask tool, but now we have the focus area. So I'm now able to select the focus area based upon the sharpness and the blurness in the picture. Let me open this photograph and show you how the tool works. I'm going to take this photograph here and open it up in Photoshop CC. Now you can see that the dancer is sharp in the foreground, but I have this complex background. I'm going to open this up via camera raw and press the shift key to open as a smart object. And now I'm just going to go into select focus area. Photoshop will automatically start to look at the picture and work out the depth of field and what's sharp and what's not sharp and create a mask based upon that information. And you can see there it's done a pretty good job of selecting the dancer away from the background. I can always change the in focus area and make the depth of field more or less. So for example, you see here that it hasn't quite selected the neck of this dancer. So I can just um, keep the plus button selected and paint in this area. And Photoshop will now include that part of the depth of field inside the selection. So you can see I've done a pretty good job. Um, if I do need to go into refine that edge a bit more, I can just go to the refine edge button and then I can just paint in the edge that I want Photoshop to work on and it will create me an even better mask that I can perform my other work on this image. There you go. So what I can then do is output this to a new layer with layer mask and press OK. Now I have my layer mask that it's created automatically for me and I also have the background if I need it, but I can always put another background in. So there you go. We hope you'll find the focus area a very helpful tool to make in those uh, type of selections. So thanks for listening and we'll see you next time. Bye now.